Lucas Media. So DJ Vlad is still hating on Shannon Sharp. As much most of the world is, ever since Shannon Sharp blew up with the Cat Williams interview, which is one of the most watched interviews of all time, you've seen the jealousy of people. You've seen people try to switch it up. Even the ones who aren't jealous, everybody wants to go viral. And everybody want to, you know, they, they they call Shannon Sharp zesty and they question other things about him. And, and you just, you see this weirdness come out, right? Now DJ Vlad, who uh, called himself, you know, the OG of, of content, he came out and he keeps talking about how much money Shannon Sharp made and Shannon Sharp got to prove it to him. Because Shannon Sharp claimed he made millions off the off the video. And DJ Vlad said, I know, I know about numbers. I, we do half a million a month and blah, 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 blah. Right. Here's my thing on all of this. I wish people would stop hating on Shannon. But this lets you know that when one of us do something like that, somebody who looks like me or Shannon Sharp, you see all the jealousy and envy come out. Not just with DJ Vlad. But from a uh, but from people that look like us, to where they do the oldest trick in the book. Oh, you zesty, you zesty. Them big old muscles with that tight shirt on, you zesty. Like it's just the weirdest stuff to me. I, oh, I wish I could curse. It's the weirdest stuff to me. And with DJ Vlad, it's like, dude, you have all these people come on your platform. Some of these people have incriminated themselves. Some of these people have gotten themselves deleted. I forget whatever that rapper name was. First of all, dude was in the army. Then he took he ended up getting a rap in and took photos after he got shot. And he told Vlad, I want to make it like Soldier Boy. Not only did the video come out, but then he was deleted. So Vlad gets all the money. You got all that clout, but you in the ground. You see what I'm saying? So what? So when a Shannon Sharp wants to come into the space, because remember Shannon Sharp, he had already a million subscribers, and people was like, "Oh, it's cool, you know." Shout out to Unk, but when Unk started breaking the internet and he want to be like a Joe Rogan or Howard Stern, big, and when I'm saying them, I'm saying huge names in the radio space or the voice, you know, internet space. You got all these people coming out, and it's like. Now Shannon Sharp messy. I remember D.A. Higley, he keep talking about that. But you go on Vlad every chance you get. A lot of these people go on Vlad every chance they get. And, you know, I really haven't been feeling Vlad like that since he went on. He didn't apologize for uh, Minister Farrakhan. And even Lord Jamal and several other people stopped fooling with him. But he like, I don't care. I still got y'all. Y'all still going to come to my platform when I make that phone call. And y'all might do the interview for free. You know, this is the game that they play. Like, we're, we're never united. Nothing. So, now we got Shannon Sharp to where you don't have to go to Vlad. You don't have to go to Adam22. You can go to Shannon Sharp, who has better credentials because he was already a Hall of Famer before coming online. He was good regardless. So, now we got a, now we got a Shannon Sharp. And instead of people supporting him and saying, okay, I do it to where... We could we could benefit from each other. Shannon can benefit from me. I benefit from Shannon. We hate on Shannon, but then we run to Vlad or we run to Adam Twenty Two. Two people who have admitted that they're guests to the culture. So Vlad, Shannon ain't gotta prove nothing to you. Whether he made millions or not, it ain't none of your business. If you're making good money, man, just keep doing you. Shannon Unk, man, keep doing you, man. The, the the streets they just jealous you know we you, you already knew that this was coming so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it what you think